chemical reactions involve the making and or breaking of chemical bonds. And since bonds are made of electrons, every reaction involves the motion of electrons from one place to another. Because orbitals are the regions where electrons reside, chemical reactions involve the overlap of orbitals between reaction partners. This usually involves one molecule donating its highest energy electrons, which reside in its HOMO, and another molecule accepting those electrons into its lowest energy available orbital, its LUMO. The molecule doing the donating is called the nucleophile, while the molecule doing the accepting is called the electrophile. Do you remember where else you've learned about donors and acceptors of electrons? In Chem 202, you learned about acids and bases. One of the definitions of acids and bases is the Lewis definition, in which bases are donors of electron pairs and acids are acceptors of electron pairs. Whether we call a particular molecule a nucleophile or a Lewis base, or an electrophile or a Lewis acid, depends on the context, but you should be aware that those terms overlap with each other. Let's take this principle of homo-lumo interaction and use it to understand the reaction between ammonia, NH3, and borane, BH3. First, let's construct their MO diagrams and identify their frontier molecular orbitals. Ammonia has three NH sigma bonds, three corresponding sigma star orbitals, and one lone pair on nitrogen, which happens to be in an sp3 hybrid orbital. Ammonia has eight valence electrons. Borane is a little bit trickier. It has three BH sigma bonds and three corresponding sigma star orbitals. They're all a bit higher than ammonia's sigma and sigma star orbitals because nitrogen is more electronegative than boron. But we're not finished with BH3. Boron also has an unhybridized p orbital that happens to be empty, so it resides in the non-bonding region of the MO diagram. Borane has six valence electrons. The HOMO of ammonia is the nitrogen lone pair, and the HOMOs of borane are those BH sigma bonds. Based on their relative energies, we can see that the ammonia is more likely to donate electrons because it has a higher energy HOMO than borane. Therefore, ammonia is likely to act as the nucleophile or Lewis base in this reaction. The LUMOs of ammonia are those NH sigma star orbitals, while borane's LUMO is its empty P orbital. Since borane has a lower energy LUMO than ammonia, it's more likely to accept electrons and act as an electrophile or Lewis acid. So what actually happens when these two molecules react? They must physically collide with each other such that their reactive orbitals, their HOMO and LUMO, overlap. When those two orbitals overlap, they make a new bonding and antibonding orbitals. In this case, a sigma bond between nitrogen and boron and a sigma star orbital. And the electrons go into the new bonding orbital. It's important to recognize that the HOMO and LUMO that participated in this reaction no longer exist once it's finished. During the course of the reaction, they interacted to produce new molecular orbitals.